my name is Bethany and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very exciting book tag. It is called the Taurus Book Tag. This original tag is originally done by Joanne Notations. I think I said that right. And that is her channel name. I will link her original video down below. I am a Taurus and my, I just celebrated my birthday. My birthday was May 1st. This is so I just consider like May since like my birthday is at the first. I just consider May like my birthday month. Like I get a whole month to celebrate my birthday. <laughs> I am going to be talking about some of the questions that she has for her book tag, and it'll be a lot of fun. So here we go. The first question is, Taurus is an earth sign. So name a book with earth in the title. So I decided to, of course, go to my Goodreads and typed in earth and just to see what popped up. And the one that popped up that I remembered reading and decided to mention was called The Earth, My Butt, and Other Big Ground Things. It's just a really fun title. I just thought it just made me, the title made me laugh and also a reason that I read the title in the first place. So I thought I had read it in high school because this is definitely old school YA, but apparently I hadn't. It came out in 2005. I feel like I read it before then, but I could be wrong. And it was by Carolyn Mackler. I put it just as three stars, but I don't know if I necessarily remember reading it and if I really liked it or not. I know it is about a girl who is trying to accept herself and then also there is a com a, an issue that comes up in their home where her brother does something pretty scandalous, pretty serious too, like he date rapes somebody. So that's kind of like, I did not remember that from the book whatsoever, but that was something when I checked it on Goodreads, I looked at some of the other reviewers' comments on it and I was like, oh, I don't remember that like at all. I don't really remember anything else in the book, but that is the book I decided to mention. The next one is question is, Tauruses are known for being very reliable. Name a reliable bestie. When I think of friendships and books, the first book that I come to is going to be The Secret by Julie Garwood, because this is the friendship is between Judith and I forget the other one, the other girl's name. I think she's Mary. Judith is English and Mary is Scottish. They're best friends. They, sh they become best friends at a very, very young age. And Judith actually is, goes, travels into Scotland, a period in time when Scotland and England did not get along. Judith goes into Scotland to help her friend who was having her first child. And Judith basically learns how to like be a midwife and help her friend like bear, like help her friend have her child be born. It's like if that's not like the most reliable best be you ever had in your life, I don't even know. Like <laughs> I thought that was like really intense and I thought that was a really good example. I don't know if I'm going to be learning how to, like, have, like, be a midwife and, like, have babies be born. That seems like a little bit way out of my realm of expertise. But I will definitely uh, be there to hold your hand. <laughs> and next question we have is, uh, Tauruses are ruled by Venus, a planet that governs love. Name your favorite romance book. I mean, I read a lot of romances, so I feel like that changes on every other day I my new I have a new favorite romance so I would say my favorite book right now is going to be The Intimacy Experiment by Rosie Dannon that I just read in April I really, really loved it I rated it five stars and that's gonna be my considered my favorite for right now in this moment that's what I'm gonna say because like if I listed all my favorites we would be here for a very very long time question number four we have very committed name a character who is committed I had to like really think about like committed to what? Committed to like a purpose? Committed to like a person? Committed to, I didn't, I didn't really kind of know like what kind of committed. And like the first character that kind of popped in my mind when I thought about it was going to be Emma from Emma by Jane Austen, which and maybe other people would disagree with me on this. But Emma is like super committed to her purpose as a matchmaker and then to the person she ends up falling in love with and like she goes full force all in even though it's not the best decision even though she probably shouldn't even though she has made many many mistakes in her in Emma but she always 100% commits to everything she does and I do like that about her I think that would be my answer for I don't think I'm anything like Emma but I definitely think she's 100% committed into what she does and I can appreciate that about her and I think that's a really good example of her character and last question we have is question number five, which is Tauruses are known for being possessive. It is and considered a weakness. Name a character who exhibits this trait. 
I was trying to really think of a pet of like a female character that portrays possessiveness because I feel like, especially in romances, men portray the possessiveness much more, right? They easily get more jealous, they're alpha male, blah, 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 blah. You don't really get a lot of like women jealousy or women getting possessive. And if you do, they're villains. Not, they're not like, they're not the heroines, which I think needs to change. <laughs> if you know any possessive heroines, I would love to know. That'd be, I'd be really interested in reading those. So comment down below, please. But the book that I thought of, ended up thinking of, was going to be Beautiful Bastard by Christina Lauren. This is about Chloe and Bennett, and they are both kind of possessed of each other. But the specific example that I'm thinking of from this book about possessiveness is Chloe and Bennett kind of, they start off in a very toxic relationship. They're kind of just like banging each other pretty much every second of every day, but they're not officially dating. They kind of keep like, keep are keeping it casual, even though they're starting to really fall for each other. There is a particular scene where Chloe is literally being set up by I think his parents or his family, like they're all there. She's literally trying to be set up by like his friend, like his parents are setting her up with like a friend of his or something. I forget how it comes about, but basically like as she's trying to post, but go through this like blind date where she's being set up, he like takes her and like bangs her in the bathroom, like, cause he cannot handle the fact that she's like even considering dating this guy. Like he gets super, super jealous and can't even handle it. And it's so aggressive, but also kind of great, but also kind of toxic and terrible. But like, also the banging in this book, all the banging in this book is super, super sexy and smutty. So that was what I thought. This is the thought couple that I thought of for possessiveness. I think it's a pretty good example of that. The good thing is, though, is that they they do end up working it out. So it still ends up positively. So there you have it. That is my Taurus book tag that I have shared. Thank you so much for Joanna Notations for coming up with this tag. I really had a lot of fun with it and appreciated some of the prompts that she made specific to Tauruses. If you're also a Taurus too, consider yourself tagged. I don't usually tag anybody in my videos, but consider yourself tagged if you're also a Taurus and want to do this book tag as well. Comment down below what you think about my picks as well as please let me know about a possessive heroine. I would really, really like to know that answer because that is something I definitely want to low-key read. And that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw and want to see more bookish things from me, please subscribe and hit likes and bells. I would really appreciate it. As well as you can follow me on all the things on social medias I've linked all down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!